as you can see, we're going to Abu Dhabi from London Heathrow. Once we get to Abu Dhabi, we then fly on to Bangkok, where we're going to be there for five days, and then for a month, we'll be in Chiang Mai, North Thailand, a month in Hanoi, Vietnam, and three months in Bali. And the plan is to essentially run the business out there. You know, my, my theory is, if you've watched any of the previous videos, I work pretty long hours. So for me, it makes sense that if I can be anywhere in the world, if we've got a team of 14 now, they're all over the world. If we're doing that, then it makes sense for me to be in the optimal place for me to get as much work done and be as productive as possible. I really love warm weather, I love culture, I love good food, so I'm moving over to Asia in order to sort of really dive ourselves into that. So I'm just finishing up editing the YouTube video and this one's going to be about a go-to-market strategy. So essentially I've documented, recorded tips based on my go-to-market strategy so that people that are running their own SaaS business can do it for themselves. As you can see here, I've just been doing it in iMovie, so nothing fancy. I've just been going through adding green recordings when necessary um, and then I'm just going to go through one last time uh, to make any fixes and then also um, remove any arms because I say that quite a lot um, and then we're going to have dinner so uh, yeah things are going fairly good um, I like to keep busy I like to keep busy on the way as you probably have noticed as well we're in business class so yeah I always um, am an R whether I document this sort of stuff on the YouTube channel do I show Traveling business class, do I show you know, when I was in Dubai? However, um, you know, that's like the reality of it. I work really hard in order to, to run an agency which scaled very well um, throughout 2022. So um, I don't want to sort of hide the you know, things that I get to do because of hard work, because I don't think I should be ashamed of that. If anything, I should be proud of it and I should be proud of the work that I'm putting in. And obviously, for those who don't know, we also run a travel blog. So I put it up on the screen. We, travel blog where we document a lot of the traveling that we do, we've got TikTok, we've got Instagram and this little star, this little star has grown the TikTok and Instagram from zero to over 250,000 followers total in less than a month. So, you know, we are working hard across all, all fronts, things are going extremely well and I'm really looking forward to showing you where we're going to be and what the work is going to be like because you're watching this and thinking, oh, you know, going to Asia is going to take his foot off the gas. No, I'm going to be working, don't tell Robin, um, I'm going to be working harder than ever. I'm going to be putting in those 12, 13, 14, 15 hour days because that is what I love doing. We are going to Asia because I want to have a nice lifestyle. I want to, you know, live in somewhere that's a bit cheaper, amazing food, amazing culture because that will push me to work hard. And when I put my time off, I'll enjoy that even, even more so. See this the next time I've been kind of recording is probably when we land in Bangkok because uh, my batteries are running low. But um, stay tuned and I'll show you sort of my work setup in Bangkok. So we have arrived in Bangkok. This is going to be our home for the next five days. I don't really show this sort of content on the channel, but I'll give you a little bit of a room tour. Essentially, um, because of the travel blog, we, we, we booked a fairly nice hotel as it was, but because of the travel blog, we outreached them and they gave us a room upgrade. So we've got essentially a suite so it's going to be our home for the next five days i'm going to get a couple of hours worked in a day while i'm out here i've got a few sales calls and then from tuesday we move to chiang mai and we'll pretty much be back on it full time um so it's a couple half days rest obviously pretty rested after christmas anyway and then back into it but in terms of the room there's like a laundry through there kitchen we're staying at the Sindhorn Kapinski in Bangkok. Nice view of the city. And then coming through to the bedroom. Again, really, really nice view. That's where I'm gonna be getting some work done later. Nice view. And then the bathroom is stunning as well with a, a view over there. So yeah, really nice. Now, those of you that watch my day in the life from Dubai, um, it's pretty similar. You know, I was not paying for that room. We're not paying for this room it's through the travel blog. Well, we're paying a little bit, but the upgrade is through uh, the travel blog. So, yeah, please don't take this as me, like, showing off. Oh, look at 
all this sort of stuff that we're doing. Obviously, I, I do get to do some really cool stuff, um, but you would be surprised how much you can get for free and the opportunities you get when you just put yourself out there and ask. And the travel blog is a perfect example of that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys will get to see a little bit more of the hotel. Um, but more importantly, what I'm going to be doing for work and the plans for the next few months. Hi guys, I'm currently in the hotel lobby and it is Friday the 13th. So I'm looking for some. And essentially, because we've been traveling the past few days, we're now in Bangkok and we're just settling in and doing a little bit of work. The team call is 3.30, so my morning stand-up with the whole team is 3.30 p.m. So it means I can have a pretty much full day of work in before um, they're even up. But, but yeah. And yeah, I may have mentioned earlier in the video, but we're staying in the Sindhorn Kapinski Hotel in Bangkok. And through the travel blog, we got an upgrade and we got a few treats. We're going, we've got complimentary dinner later in the hotel and drink. So as, as I said, similar to the Dubai situation, I don't get to stay in these places all the time. The blog massively helps out with that. And it means we get to have experiences that we otherwise wouldn't be able to have. Um, and yeah, just gonna crack. Hi guys, so I've just got a morning of work done out of the way, as you can see. Um, for me, one of the main reasons why I wanna be out here and I wanna be living in this sort of environment is because for me, I can just be so much more productive when you're, you know, it's cheaper out here, so you can afford to stay. I mean, sort of, look at us. Look at our surroundings here, you know, amazing buildings. The weather is incredible. Um, for me, if I can be, I can be more productive in environments like this. So it just completely makes sense for me to be here. As long as it, it can work long term, I'd much rather be in an environment like this where I can get more work done. My quality of life is higher because um, that's not only going to lead to better results for me, but it's also going to lead to better results for our clients. So that's going pretty well. In terms of an update in what's happening on the software side, I'll put up on screen now, um, we're essentially doing the rebrand for the software to launch. We're going to be launching as SEO spa space, so seospace.co.uk. So we've had to design a completely new website and a completely new software, both on the dashboard and on the Chrome plugin itself. So there's a full rebrand going on, which is quite intense. I'm also, I've started doing a lot more sales outreach. I have never ever sold a cold outbound client, never once. I don't do cold outreach. Um, I would say probably because our reputation is so good, I've never had to do any cold outreach in order to sign a client. It's always come through referrals, at work, or inbound. I've, I've never had to do a cold outbound. Um, so we're doing a really big push at the moment on outbound sales and there's a couple of ways that we're doing that. First of all, I'm using Dripify. Dripify is a platform where you can, it automates, where it, all, out, where it automates LinkedIn outreach. So essentially, as I show you here, I, I personalize a connection request. So a connection request gets sent out and this is personalized with a Loom video showing uh, a case study of how I have got someone on page one of Google and then it does some automated follow-up sequences 
And then another thing that I'm doing, we've hired two outreach virtual assistants, again, in order to do personalized outreach to people. So we've got a virtual assistant to build us a list of a thousand SaaS businesses, and we get the virtual assistant to go through and qualify those, uh, those companies. So make sure the SaaS businesses, make sure the SEO isn't amazing already, uh, so we can see that there's room for improvement. They will then screenshot their competitor, a competitor of theirs, ranking above them and email and say, hey, your competitor's ranking above you. We can guarantee that we'll get you on page one. Um, feel free to jump on a call with us to show you how we'll get you above that client, above that competitor. So creating urgency, showing that we can get results by showing them a case study and hopefully creating urgency to jump on a call with us. So we are fighting across all fronts. So. Um, as I mentioned in the video, if you think that if you think that moving to Asia is going to lead to less results and less hard work, that physically cannot be the case because we've got more going on than we've ever had going on. Our goals are bigger than they've ever been and the team's bigger than it's ever been. It is a Friday today. Um, we've spent, we got up early, went to the gym, got a few hours of work done. We're just walking for lunch. We'll then get a few more hours of work done. And essentially, over the weekend, I'm gonna work in the mornings, and then we're gonna go and do stuff in the afternoon, like go to the floating markets, do the touristy stuff. And then on Tuesday, we move to Chiang Mai for a month, and essentially there, we're going to be, you know, full, full time back on it. And this is gonna be the end of the video. Um, the next video is going to be a lot more technical. I'm gonna be talking to you a lot more about how to brand a SaaS business and how I think about that and give you some actionable tips that you can take. You will have already seen my go-to-market strategy video that I brought together. Um, so take a look at that if you haven't already seen, but the next video I'm gonna take you through a lot more around marketing a SaaS business. And obviously, if you have got any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment. But more importantly, please like and subscribe because there's gonna be plenty more coming. Not only is it going to be cool stuff from Asia to go through, get to see what it's like to, to live over this side of the world as a digital nomad, but you're also going to see the workings of an agency as with 3x, over 3x their revenue this year, and also um, a software business as we grow to 1,250 paying customers. So stick along, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.